Hello and welcome to a new host of our video. My name is Alex and today we're going to be looking at the UDR and how to plug in a nanostation AC and power it from the UDR itself. So the UDR has four Ethernet ports on the back of the device for switching. So it's got the uh, two PoE ports and then two LAN ports as well. What we're, what we're going to achieve in this video is we're going to have a nanostation AC as our replink. So we're going to simulate a WISP style connection. And then we're going to set up triple PoE on the UDR as well. Uh, this is sort of a continuation of a video we did uh, earlier in the week. So we had an edge router, and then we had we had two edge routers, an edge router X, and we connected PPPoE up with a local uh, PPPoE server. So we're going to connect the UDR to that same PPPoE server, but we're going to have the UDR powering up the NAS station. So we're going to do this with the magic of VLANs. Um, so we're going to have the NAS station plugged into one of the Ethernet ports that are doing PoE. And we're going to have a VLAN that's bridging the the that, that connection to the WAN port as well. So we're going to do some we're going to do some setup process before we get uh, connected up first. So we're going to go to settings. So we've got an SSID called Hostify Test, which is fine. We're going to keep that as what it is. We're going to go across to networks. We've got a default uh, subnet setup here. We're going to go create a new network. I'm going to have third-party gateway because we want a VLAN that isn't routed by the UDR. We just want to we just want to use the VLAN um, as a, just a VLAN by itself. We're going to have VLAN ID 55, network name, we're going to have WAN bridge. That's going to be our network name. So we're going to add that network there. We're going to go back to the unified devices. So we're going to wait for the UDR to finish provisioning. So the UDR has now finished provisioning. We're going to go across to the panel here. And go to ports. So port 5 is our WAN, which is fine. We're going to keep that as what it is for now. We've got port 4 and port 3 as PoE, and then port 2 and port 1 as sort of non-PoE ports. So we're going to go to port manager. And what we want to do is pick pick a port. So I'm going to pick port 4 for powering up the nano station. And what we want to do is we're going to say nano station. And then port profile is going to be WAM bridge. So that's what it's going to do is untag VLAN 55 on port 4. So I apply that change. I'm going to do exactly the same for port 2 as well. So I'm going to say um, link to WAN. Port profile will be set to WAN bridge as well. What that's doing is untagging VLAN 55 on port 4 and 2, so effectively bridging them together as if they were connected via cable. Uh, so untagged on there, untagged on there. Go press apply. And then port 2, we're going to have a short Ethernet cable going from port 2 to port 5, and that will uh, give the... In well, it will make the UDR think that there's a cable, or well, just a cable in between, but nothing, nothing's changed as far as it's as far as it's concerned. Next thing is settings. We're going to set up our triple PoE server or triple PoE client. Sorry, go to internet, internet primary WAN. And we're going to have that set to normal. And manual, we're going to have IPv4 connection PPPoE. I'm going to have user 001 and password. It's exactly the same credentials I had set up in the previous video I did. I'm going to press Apply Changes. So what's going to happen now? I'm going to lose access to the UDR, so I'm going to have to plug in with an Ethernet cable into one of the LAN ports, and I'll come back when that's done. So the UDR is now provisioning after I set the username and password for the PPPoE to user 001 and password. So you can see on port 5, that's what it's accepting. So I'm now going to plug in the nano station into port 4 and port 2. So let's just double check that's correct. So we've got port manager. Yep, so port 2 will go to the port 5 and then port 4 will go to our nice station. So I'll come back once that's done. So the UDR has now detected that there are things plugged into it into the ports. So I go to port devices and then to the port manager. So port 5 goes to port 2, that VLAN bridge. And then port 4 goes up to a nanostation. There's another VLAN bridge there. So uh, it's drawing power. It's powered up off the PoE ports, no problem. Nanostation is now connected to our other nanostation. So just waiting for the triple PoE session to initiate. Shouldn't take a few seconds. And there we go. The UDR has picked up an IP address from the edge router that we set up in a previous video. And we'll see if we can actually get online. So I'll turn my Wi Fi off. We shall run a ping to the internet. And we do have internet access, that's really good. So 
So the DDR is taking a little bit of time to figure out if the internet is actually up or not for some reason. So it's going to ping ping.ubnt.com, which is actually just Google's DNS. It's still figuring out if there is any, any internet at all. Uh, it obviously is working, but internet half. It hasn't quite worked out what's going on with it yet. There we go. It took a few minutes, uh, but it's picked up the ISP. It's picked up the uptime, ping times to the internet, uh, traffic running through. So we shall run a speed test and see what we're getting. Yeah, it's about, so we should get about 50, which we are getting roughly. Which is going through double NAT, or triple NAT actually. So we've got NAT of the UDR, NAT of the edge which is connected to, NAT of the UXG that's connected to, and then NAT of the UDMSE I've got previously. So it's not too bad, considering all the NAT it's actually going through. And it's a, there's traffic going through anyway. So. so just to recap, we've got our UDR powering up a nanostation AC for its one. And then that's bridging itself through to uh, a VLAN, a VLAN 55, port 2, and then that's connected to uh, port 5 of the WAN port of the UDR. It's quite a useful thing if you've got an ISP, uh, so a WISP for your internet connection, you can just use one plug and power everything up if you need to, so that's great. And you could even, well, you could even power another device now, so you've still got port 3, you could power up a camera or another AP. Uh, or a flex mini switch, that sort of thing. So that's that's quite a handy solution, really, for a small, small house. So let's look how to set up the UDR and power up a Wisp style radio on one of the PoE ports on the on the land land side of the device. You can find a full blog post about how to do this in the description below. If you need more help, you can have a look at hostify.com. You can contact the team at support at hostify.com, and you can follow us on Twitter at hostify underscore net. If you like this sort of video. Hit subscribe and there'll be lots more Ubiquity content coming very soon. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Alex and we'll see you again next time.